probably get it. I wrote down the Caucasian skin color, if you call it. I wrote down the color so I know exactly how to do it. So I won't have to go back and forth. And when you do so, after you make it the exact same color as the skin, or close to it, we're going to darken that. Or whatever. Whatever. Make it as close to the color as you possibly can. After you do so, you go to transparency and you bring it down. Don't bring it all the way down because then you, it defeats the purpose. You bring it down to where it looks faded in, to where you like it. And now, now the paint tool looks like attack 2. That's how I did Dominic Franco and Sight and everyone else. That's how I did that. Now, before we go again, I'm going to do something else that people have been asking me. How do you get WWE logos as tattoos? What you do is whatever like okay this is how you do it for your arms find a way to do it for the other the other um areas of the body you, you figure that out because it's pretty much the same way you put something on your arm whether it's an elbow pad a wristband gloves etc you put it on and then you go to logos and you go to WWE now when you go to WWE they automatically put the logo on your arm now you go to it whatever logo you want put it wherever you want however big you want it and there you have it you have your WWE logo as your tattoo now what you cannot do is you cannot delete whatever you use to put it there such as the wristbands if I was to delete the wristbands if I was to delete the wristbands then the tattoo will come off it will delete as well don't ask me why that is just what happens in 2009 it did not do that so I guess they fixed it and another thing, please people stop making your tattoos this black because people tattoos aren't that dark. Pr bring the transparency down to where it looks like it's actually in the skin, please. I'm so sick and tired of seeing people with black tattoos. It irks my nerves. But that's how you do that. Now we're going to go back to paint tool. So I can show you more things. Whew. Got that out of the way. And please, after watching these videos, please don't send me another message asking me what I already told you in the thing, talking about you don't understand. Just go back into the video. Jeez, Louise, that is like so annoying. For those of you that want to see um, Carnival's paint tool, this is what it is. I don't come into paint tool with ideas. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. I pretty much come into the paint tool and just do random things and it comes it, it works out. Random things and it just works out. Now we have this paint tool 
what I can do like like my dude said with uh, 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 any paint tool that you have you can flip it well not like that but you can flip it to make something different now I can use that as a tattoo to put on the rear end of his tights or if I was to give him briefs or anything like that that's pretty much it this paint tool and this paint tool is gonna be for somebody new y'all see it it's falling this paint tool now like I was saying before don't ever do the box don't ever paint the whole thing just and, and un unless your um, your paint tool design entitles you to paint the whole thing then you do so like if you're making an army fatigue design like we're gonna do now well we're gonna we're gonna demo our army fatigue design unless your paint tool entitles you to do so then do not paint the background please don't paint the background like this like I'm saying this is just bullshit if you want an army fatigue design it does take time it takes a lot of time because it looks like scribble scrabble but actually doing so takes a while trust me I've done a paint tool design it takes a while to do army fatigue especially to make it come out looking like army fatigue instead of scribble scrabble right now I'm just doing scribble scrabble and then you paint every section a different color to make it look army fatigue and as you uh, you can see what I'm going with this but this is bullshit don't pay any attention to that if you want to know how army fatigue comes out this is army fatigue that I use for spade this is how that comes out when you take your time when you take your time this is how everything will come out pretty much paint tool is a timed event take your time do not rush I cannot stress that enough do not rush now wait okay now with the colors like I said using going all the way down to make the color the brightest to making the color the brightest is good in some some occasions but people when you're making tattoos do not do so because then they're gonna come out bright especially if you're making a tattoo for a black dude now everybody out there that has tattoos that knows about tattoos know that color sometimes do not show up on black people's skin and having a black guy with a bright red tattoo on his shoulder is going to look stupid trust me when I tell you so so what you want to do is instead of making it the brightest darken it so what if you're not going to be able to see it clearly you know what it is and that's all that matters that you know what it is that's it you don't have to have anybody else tell you you know oh that don't look good it's your fucking dude do whatever you feel like doing now we're gonna make a basic tattoo using the tools the way I told you to use it not a tattoo but a basic paint tool using the tools the way I tell you to use it now we're gonna use the line we're gonna bring it all the way down like I said take your time make it the slowest you don't want you do not want to, to you know speed up or whatever just take your time we're gonna use every single tool that I told you to use that's gonna help you out we're gonna make a quick design that looks similar to tech